So in this episode, let's uh, create that empty view which we need to show on the table view when nothing is there. Plus we will also set up the profile section. So that's what the focus is all about in this one. So let's get started with the empty view as a background view for this. So I'm going to create a module for that. I'm going to call it new module target. Next, empty view, create it as a target. Let's there. Let's go way below here. So I'm going to create something in the shared location called controls. These are all custom shared controls. I'm going to move it within that controls. So now it's going to give me the error to fix the uh, info PLS section empty view going to be a long one let's connect modules then uh, shared controls now it should compile but if you need to use it keep it keep the target to 13 so now it should be fine so I'm gonna add a custom view to this UI view calling it empty view itself add it to utility not utility we are having it within uh, empty view create gives you some structure remove Let's make it public final <clears throat> and let's create a view for this view empty view xib within empty view so that's for pretty much what we need create something like this let's get rid of some stuff which are not needed inferred maybe make it free form so that i can resize it i don't need the whole big size thing and maybe it just that's just enough it will auto resize anyway based on content so let me add uh, the structure to it it's nothing major it just needs to have a um, image view and a couple of labels so I'm going to add an image view, maybe of size, uh, it's only height constraint of 180, and then associate to the top constraint, what is that I had, existing designs. Okay, I'm having it within a stack view so let me embed it within a stack view I don't need this top constraint and then I'm gonna add a label And then again add a stack view on that label so that I can add a couple of labels there. Control C Control V. So two labels, maybe center align. And uh, then let me have a top spacing of hundred. Just stack view to the top leading sorry to the top 100 and spacing between the the uh, view and the labels to be 60 okay and this is going to be title and any maybe a subtitle that's going to change based on the content and its font is going to be i think i applied uh, rounded bold 35 
apple aerial rounded 35 for the title and this is i guess 20 aerial hebrew So that's pretty much uh, it's a light font color and schemes we might be maybe we, we can add once uh, we have the theme in place the spacing of 10 for this that's pretty much what my what is the height different I guess this is 180 and this is 180 maybe the width is more so let's correct that. Okay, that's fine. You can see it's going to take up the space of uh, whatever we are going to apply to this view. So height is going to be constrained there, and we can have it as aspect fit itself. It's fine. Okay, aspect fit is fine, and this should be center line so that. Horizontal, yeah, that's fine. So that's my view. Now we need to associate the constraint, uh, the outlets to my view. So before that, uh, I need to do some stuff. Association is to the empty view, and I need to have the outlets now. So assistant assistant I need something called as a content view content view first thing then the image view this is more like the um, empty image view empty title And then the subtitle that's it for things <coughs> and uh, now this control is ready for configuration so first thing first we need an init basic init it needs a uh, overridden in it not the basic ones so we can just init using the frame first thing frame in it which will anyway ask for the required in it so frame in it it's also asking for the required let's implement that one as well and frame in it needs to call the super first super dot in it using frame And even for the required coder in it, let's uh, to call the basic super coder will be used if you are using it from the uh, storyboard. That's done. Now let's define a function called configure setup so that you can set up the required things for this. All right. So constraints and all for this for that uh, you can do first thing it's a basic structure for every uh, so you need to call the bundle bundle for type of self dot then load new so that's my bundle now let me call the load uh, nib named so this is where you are loading that specific uh, nib which we created called empty view owner being self and other things you can keep it as nil so this is where you are loading that uh, um, nib which we created Next, uh, I can keep the background color to be clear. 
because it can be the color of the view which you are having let's say if it is table view let that take the table views color or if it's a background view of the uh, overall view let that be the views color and then you need to do an add sub view of the content view which we added which we added here and that sub view content views frame should be the size of the uh, view which it has uh, like the empty view wherever you are embedding let that take its shape and size and then continue to the resize auto resize mask to be flexible width and uh, flexible height so that's the basic setup that you need to do for each and every custom view that you're creating you can just call that setup here itself so that it, it just works that's enough and now uh, if you need to configure this I'm just gonna create a function called configure if you need to configure your control using the title image and the subtitle then we can do that like I'm gonna have the Y image passed title passed and the subtitle Just to con configure your control and all that I then need to do is self dot uh, empty image view is the image which you pass title text type empty title text will be the title which you pass and empty subtitle text will be the subtitle text you pass so that's how you configure your control this should be image view dot image so that your control is ready now this can be now embedded uh, as the background view of your table view so let me go to the table view so i think this is enough function for configure needs to be public because i need to call it from somewhere wherever i'm using it so that's done so empty view should be now available for embedding as a framework so i'm going to chat rooms i'm going to get rid of this background uh, style separate the style to none and even for friends these are the two places i'm willing to use this now that's it and uh, now I'm gonna bring these the control to the empty control to chat rooms as well as the friend section empty view chat and friends now I can use it if I go to my view controller import empty view this is my friend section okay let's start with the import empty view <coughs> done set up view so within chat rooms I'm gonna do a setup UI. This is where I'm gonna bring that. So I'm saying empty view equals empty view frame. I can just say dot zero. I don't need to pass any size, it will accept the size on which you are embedding it. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna include I need some images for the empty view now. So for the chat rooms, I'm gonna create an asset. called uh, chat rooms create and I'm gonna include the empty view for chat room let me see what I have I see
I think this is what I used waiting yeah and I need to make it as a render as template so that I can any kind of uh, template to that like I can change the tint color so that's why I'm making it as a template image that's added now I can use that let empty image equal to UI image using the named bundle so I just called it as IC empty I guess I see waiting I see waiting bundle <coughs> um, identifier the class you just call type of self itself and configuration being nil so that's my empty image I'm gonna pass that to configure so empty view dot configure will need an image empty image title being um, uh oh and description being looks like there are no chat groups so this is my empty view empty image needs to be okay that's my empty view so wherever I need it is in the table view so I need to grab an outlet of that table view right now go to my assistant table view and uh, close this go to my chat room then within the table view dot can just say background view is equal to empty view compile let's see what happens login it's showing an empty view with that icon that right now the icons uh, tint color is um, something different I wanted a different tint color but uh, you can always set it up so this is at least how it's going to start looking even now you can even apply it for the uh, friend section so let's even do that for friends so how did I change the tint I think I can just do that uh, with the image view Right now this is the tint it is taking but if I do something like this it's gonna give me a different tint color but this should be driven from the theme file so that's what is something I'll be looking at in the future so that's it based on the tint color this changed now so it's looking prettier than before now let's add it to the title I mean to the friend section and then build that profile as well and then finish to finish off this episode so let's go to the this section go to its assistant i need to grab a reference of table view table view yeah and then go to the view controller set up functions extension friends view controller private ones for create a function call setup UI and we'll do the same stuff like whatever we did for chat rooms empty view we need to import empty view it's already there so empty view we don't have we need a different kind of image here because I cannot just duplicate the same kind of image so let's create an asset for your friend section create and I'm gonna add a 
no friends i think i have this friends yeah let's add this i see friends and again i don't need a template for that because it's a different kind of an image so if i don't have render as template i see friends for your friend section and what is the title i added let me check it was sai oh no friends have joined no no friend no friends have joined no friend has joined yet that's enough for the table view so that is my second table view which should now i need to call the setup view right here so now my second section should also show the empty view yeah that's my second section so both of the sections now showing this did not have that template applied because i did not make it a template image because i wanted in the same way no friend has joined so two things now the profile before that i need a action button here where i can start not here in the section of rooms where i can start creating a new chat room so that i'm going to add that as well it should be a floating button for that i'm going to create within the chat room view controller um a button private lazy var create chat room button and subtype ui button it's going to return that button equal to ui button uh, of type custom That's what I'm going to return finally. No error. So let's add a, it as a um, normal with type button at the right side i need an image for that i'm going to add it within the chat rooms it's called i see create button i think i wanted to create it yeah let's see create again i'm going to make it as a render template image i need to apply a theme there that's the reason and i need to have where do i place this button i need to have two positions for that so i'm going to grab y position as uh, self dot view dot frames frame dot uh, height minus from the right side 180 position from the bottom and x position will be self dot view dot frame dot width minus maybe 100 from the bottom so it's two positions i'm capturing now let me add the button image create image UI image named I see create bundle bundle for type of self with nothing so that's my image I'm going to add that as the button image set image create image for normal state and uh, let's define the buttons frame where I'm going to keep it so if we already have the x y positions x is x position y is y position and I'm going to keep a uh, width and height of 60 so it's going to be floating at the bottom at the bottom right so 
so that's how I'm creating this now button not some auto auto size resizing to flexible height and width but same things flexible width flexible height and finally button layer is a z position to the one so that's it that's my button i'm gonna add it at the setup ui side so i'm gonna call that setup ui self dot view dot add sub view or create button create chat room button now you should be able to see a button at the bottom right and what about the button tint color we are not set so i think button dot tint color purple deep purple is what i'm thinking it should i think this should make that color appear proper i don't know maybe if it is a custom let's see let's see should be available at the bottom right side yeah purple that's a button on tap it's gonna create a chat room that's my profile friend section finally there is a profile section let's add uh, something for the profile and conclude this episode so this is how it's going to look like these um, chat rooms and friends and profile section I need some image for the profile section right now so let's go to the profile section profile is going to have uh, I think an image profile is going to have an image username email all those details and then there is a, something for is a dark mode and then a logout button so i'm gonna do that image view it's uh, from the top i'm keeping like around 60 60 from the top height being uh, 200 so i'm going to keep it as 200 by 200 and let it be center aligned that's enough then now i need to have two labels so i'm going to add a label then embed that into a stack view so that I can have a couple of labels and uh, maybe a spacing again this will be custom rounded 36 is that too much maybe 24 is enough And this is light maybe I need to cho choose the font first uh, Hebrew light 16 maybe we can have a dis spacing between both 10 15 okay that's enough so this is going to be the username and this is going to be the email two feeds and let that be at the vertical spacing and let that also be center aligned yeah that's enough maybe it's too much it's the distance is enough yeah then <clears throat> I'm gonna have a switch a 
which is on the right side and on the left I'll have a label called uh, dark mode so on switching it's on it's going to say dark mode I'm going to embed it within a stack view and then vertical spacing center align finally I'm gonna have a logout button so button at the bottom bottom space logout we apply some styling over there as well custom uh, Hebrew 20 center that's it that's my logout button maybe I can even have a little bit higher size 24 and color being text color being something like this enough so that's my profile view I can maybe I will embed that uh, control I have some images I'm going to embed that here image profile image view go back set up extension profile view controller private function setup UI and then I do I think I have this image I don't have it I'm gonna add this image to the hmm, there are a couple of images what I am wanting is that profile female and male hello male okay there is a male as well moving into the app level so that I can directly access it here so I'm gonna set that up call the setup UI and profile image view dot image is going to be UI image named uh, IC mail. Let's see what it shows. screen this is also working yeah so we have <clears throat> three screens right now available chat friends and profile so that's <clears throat> that's what I wanted to take up this in this episode where I'm loading all of these three sections right now and uh, to conclude uh, from here we are going to take up creation of the chat rooms where it gets launched and loaded here in the table view if there are chat rooms this is not going to show it instead it will show a list of chat rooms available where i can click and start where i can just join or even i can create a log chat room so it's going to list all the chat rooms where i'm already part of or even i'm not part of where i can even join so those are going to happen and this friends section is going to list all the people who are already specific to this chat room it's it's not limited to let's say what whoever you know it's it's going to list all the friends you who are actually joining this um uh, through the web socket it's going to display here and then you can maybe initiate a chat with them or something or you can join a chat room from here something can happen like that plus profile anyway it's going to display the basic stuff 
particular username email dark mode theme we need to define at that point we will use this logout is going to log you out of the disconnect you from the chat room and everywhere and then you will be disappearing from here so that's a whole idea behind creation of these sections so from the next uh, tutorial episodes onwards we will start building this room section plus um, it's high time that we define the themes as well and then use that theme all across uh, so that uh, we don't do a lot of programming and then later refactor and move every room themes to specific section so it's better that we start uh, themes in the next episode and then start integrating theme for each and every section using that theme file that we are going to define which is more like a framework itself so i think this pretty much i have covered whatever was intended in this episode where i wanted to actually show creation of these sections and then loading it within the tab bar and now we can start actually consuming those web uh, websocket services to actually do stuff like load this friends section create a chat room or uh, send messages to a chat room send images to a chat room all that now starts the bulk of the things are going to start now because we have set up the, the framework ready to build things so until the next episode code is already available in patreon whatever i have covered until now will be available i'm gonna upload it tonight to patreon if you want early access you can go grab it and start looking at the code base if not just continue watching this keep subscribed and share this episode so that i get more views which will be helpful and then um leave your feedback if you have anything until whatever i have covered right now and uh, until the ne next episode then it's bye from me